it was Eddie Jobson, you know. And uh, he wanted me to audition for UK. And I did. So at 18, I auditioned to replace Alan Holdsworth. Yeah, I was a big UK fan, a huge Alan Holdsworth fan, even even back when he was uh, with Tony Williams, you know, and Billy Cobham, all that stuff. Uh, and then he joined UK, and that was like a, a gold mine for me, because the, the UK music, especially Eddie Jobson, uh, just such a fantastic musician. It wasn't prog, it wasn't rock, it wasn't fusion. There was something to me about that music that had a, a, a unique value. And um, they were coming to Boston. I was 18 years old and I went to Strawberries, which was a record store and they were all gonna be there. And I, I got to meet Eddie and that was really nice. And uh, Alan didn't show up cause he doesn't do those things. <laughs> and that night they were playing the Orpheum and I went down there and I waited at the backstage door for hours. And nobody was around. And finally, Alan Holdsworth showed up. And he uh, was so kind and so nice. And he uh, gave me his home address on the back of a $10,000 bill. It was like a fake bill. And uh, I transcribed that entire record. And I transcribed the entire uh, In the Dead of Night with Presto Vivace and everything. And we used to kind of play it in my college band. And I presented it to Eddie Jobson and he, he was, uh, you know, he said I was, I was hoping to get a transcription of this. That was what he said. So then Alan Holdsworth left UK and the word was out that they were auditioning guitar players. And I sent the tape in and I got a phone call from Eddie Jobson. And I remember because I didn't have a phone and I had just gotten, it was my first, my first phone in my little apartment in Boston. And the, one of the first calls I got was Eddie Jobson. And I remember picking it up and I, I was eating an apple at the time. And I thought it would be funny to say, instead of saying hello, I'd said, I'm eating an apple. That was Eddie Jobson, you know? And uh, he wanted me to audition for UK. And I did. So at 18, I auditioned to replace Alan Holdsworth. I, I, I couldn't replace him. 10 Steve Vise can't replace Alan Holdsworth. So uh, I actually played with Eddie and we played Presto Vivace. And uh, I was 18. I think I was just too young. But at the same time, Frank was kind of in the picture. And I mentioned that to Eddie. And, you know, he said, well, you should go with Frank or, you know. And, and Frank said, you should go with Eddie because you'll make money or something, you know. So uh, I wasn't quite right for UK, obviously. And they eventually did it without a guitar player. That's when they did the trio. Uh, 